Hey, Matt, you ever been on the news? Yes and no. Welcome to Thorma Podcast, your one-stop shop for podcasts. podcasts. My name is Gabe, and I'm your host. And my name is Matt. I will be your co-host on the back rooms. <laughs> okay. Tell we've been wearing the story. same. We've been wearing the same clothes for the last three weeks now. Yeah, I miss and my have family. been sitting in this exact same spot for three weeks. I miss my family. I do too. I miss going home. But tell us about how you're on the news. Oh uh, yes, yes. If you saw the title of this video, you know what this is going to be about. That's a shout out to me in 2015 when I used to say that. By the title of the video, you know what this is going to be about. What about blind people? <laughs> what if blind people are watching your YouTube channel? Why would a blind person watch my YouTube channel? Just to hear a kid going, Whoa, whoa, guys, whoa. Yeah. That's not fun. What are all, what are all blind people not That's allowed not to watch you. your YouTube videos? That's not YouTube. That's like something like a dad would say. Like, what are you doing? Ewing? Ewing and tubing? <laughs> You into YouTubing? <laughs> YouTubing? Well, that's actually a word, isn't it? Oh. YouTube that. YouTube. Like tweet Google that. that. YouTube that. Google that. Google that. YouTube duck, that. Go that. <laughs> duck, duck, go. Bing that. Yahoo that. Yahoo. Hotmail that. Speaking of Yahoo, that's yeah. what I said when I was going to be interviewed for the news. Yeah, tell us about it. So, when I was a junior in high school, I was going to this church event, right? This church event, and it started in the parking lot of a, what used to be Toys R Us, but is now Spirit of Halloween. <laughs> okay. Not right now. It's nothing, nothing right now. nothing to do with this story. Well, that's where we were. We were in the parking lot getting ready, getting ready to do the thing in the parking lot, right? And it was like a big event, like a thing that happens every year, and it was going to be great. And they always, the news always shows up and records it, so it's not really that special that the news was there because we uh, expected it to be there and all of a sudden the news is like we need somebody to interview could you do it you as in me but i'm pointing to you because it's like that's what they did like can you do it and i was like yeah i sure can put me on screen right now kind of like i am right now Mm -hmm. i'm on screen right now right now can you believe that so i get up there and i'm all i'm all I'm like ready to do this. And they're like, what is your name? And I was like, um, uh, uh. and the second, the second they told me they were filming, I got really nervous and I started like sweating. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what's your name? Uh, Matthew. Oh! Wait, that's a- Matthew. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Matthew, my last name. And then they were like, okay, now spell it. It's like M A T T H E W. Oh, oh, oh! Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> because it's for when they put the name on the yeah. screen. Yep. They want I, you to I spell took, it so they know I took how. A class. Yeah, but a lot of people we'll don't talk, know that. We'll talk about it after your story. Okay. A lot of people don't know that though. That they ask you to spell out your name when you're done. Mm-hmm. That's a little quinky dink you got from me. Yeah. Is that even a word? Quinky dink even a word? I think I came up with that word because I'm so smart. Mm-hmm. And my smartness translated into this interview. And they'd ask me a question like, what is the purpose of this event? And I was like, event. Event good. Do good thing. Thank you. And like, I was so nervous. And then they'd a- they asked me this question. I don't remember what it was. But I stood there for like 30 seconds. Just like, sorry, I'm trying to think. Uh, could you repeat the question? And it was like, oh man, it was so, it was so embarrassing. And I couldn't get it out. Like, I could not understand their question, even though it was the most simple question. I don't remember what it was. It was like, it was like, how often do they do this event or something stupid like that? And I was like, um, um, no, sorry, uh, I can't remember. Uh, could you repeat the question? How many times have they done this event? Um, uh, like, like 12 times and I just guessed mm-hmm. oh man it was so bad and then they're like all right thank you for your thank you for your participation and uh that's all they said just mm-hmm. thank you for your participation they didn't interview anybody else usually they'd interview this guy named Ken real stand-up guy great guy Ken 
you you you've met Ken. Gabe's met Ken, but he doesn't uh, remember bye. him. You don't remember Ken. Ken's this old guy. Okay. But he's awesome. Okay. And they usually interview him, but they didn't. I was the only one that got interviewed, and I was like, this is going to be great. And our, our friend Abe was there. We just call him Abe. His real name is Christian, but my brother's name is Christian, so in order to tell which one apart, we call him Abe. Yes. And Abe was there, and like Abe the, was... Like the Lincoln variety. Basically, yes. They were going to interview Abe, too. They told him that. And then they didn't, because my interview was so bad that they didn't show, They didn't even interview Abe. They were going to. Like, they asked him, too, and he said he would do it. But they didn't, because mine was so bad. So then that night, the news comes on, and the entire time, my parents are like, yeah, we're going to watch you get interviewed on the news. And I'm like, please, no. I don't need to see me going, <sighs> um, uh, and then <laughs> sweating, just, like, dripping it. down my face. Just, yeah. I, I don't know what, I don't know why I'm here. What is this event? What? Uh, What's a camera? Like, you know? <laughs> where am I? Like, where am I? Am I even... Do I even exist? What's happening? I was just such an idiot in that interview. Like, I can't get over that. It's like... It just ingrained in my brain how bad mm-hmm. it was. And so that part comes up. The segment where they're talking about the event. And they talk about the event. And I was like, Oh no, here comes my interview. And they didn't show it. And I was so happy. You might be surprised to hear that that I was happy that they didn't show my interview but I saved myself from that embarrassment that was so embarrassing though mm-hmm. that I was doing that man like I disgraced I disgraced Ken the organizer of the event mm-hmm. by not knowing how many times they've done it it was some question like that some obvious question yeah that anyone could answer and I didn't know how to answer it So, yeah, that's my story. Very embarrassing. And, by the way, the thumbnail of this video. That is a picture of me getting interviewed for the news. Wait, do you have the video of it? There's no video, but my mom took a... No, not my mom. My mom wasn't there. Ken took a picture of it. Hmm. But he sent me the picture. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how... That's how my interview was not shown on... on, I was going to say YouTube... It probably would have ended up on YouTube, like in those news fails, yeah, compilations. Because I was just like, uh, 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 tornado girl, you know that video. Yep. Yeah. I'll talk about my uh, my class. Okay. Um, high school, I took a TV productions class, which is basically just news class. Okay. But we had to learn how to interview people, how to be interviewed, how to edit, and everything like that. Uh, use camera product or equipment and stuff but there was one project I remember this is a tragic story um, where we had to, when we were first doing interviews we had to interview our teacher in groups of two and I was work- and one of us you know told or asked the questions the other person filmed uh-huh. and I was the one that was gonna ask questions and we were waiting like over so it was kind of it was in our basement of our high school so there was it was just a hallway basically with lockers and then down mm-hmm. the hall was the room and next to the room we they were interviewing and we were waiting down the hall just, I was just practicing the questions in my head mm-hmm. and the guy I kind of knew him who was I was working with camera with or he was doing the camera work he's on his phone he's like look at this and I look down and it's like this horrific video that I don't even want to describe and I'm like why'd you just show that to me I'm about to interview our teacher and now that's in my mind it's it's gross but the entire time I was asking the questions it just kept repeating in my brain and I was like okay but I got him down at least I was able to do it all so sometimes being the interviewer can be as difficult as being the interviewee but um, yeah. So was it just like some guy getting murdered or something? Uh, um, but at the point of the <laughs> probably cl- worse than that. Yeah, the the class was a lot of fun though. Um, and that's where I did my little film project uh, checkout that got hijacked and um, uh, sucked. Yeah. It was on. It was on going obscure for a while. Yeah. You can still watch it. It's, it's unlisted. unlisted. Yeah, it's yeah. unlisted, but you can go on the playlist to watch it if you really wanted to. Yeah, if you but really wanted to. It was a fun class. 
Yeah, yeah. I had a film appreciation class. Oh yes, that was it. Is that's that when. That's where. No, or, that was in high uh, school. That's oh. where I will always. One, two, three okay. comes from. Yeah. I Even know. though it wasn't made in that class, but it yeah. was made or, based off the yeah. movies we made and in that class. And that's where Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You, the trailer. Was. Yeah. And the Before. second one. Yeah. The second movie was also <clears throat> for that class. Yeah. I took a film studies class in high school, too. It was a lot of fun. Oh. Yeah. Film classes are fun. Yeah, I took a lot of film classes, at least when I could, and computer classes. Yeah. yeah. Either way, I can always remember the interviewer's face. During my interview, like she was just kind of like, like she just made that face, just yeah. But then, like I don't know, I, I was like, they're gonna be like, they're gonna get so impatient with me, and so I, I failed. I failed. Okay, <laughs> I failed fail an interview. I failed the interview. It's not like a test. It's not. Well, it was a test because they asked me a question I couldn't answer it. Mm-hmm. Don't get interviewed on the news, kids. I'm just kidding. I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If you're not you can, ready yeah. for it. And even if you think you're ready for it, just like I was, you might not be. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. Even if you think you're ready for something, you, you might not be. That's yeah. a very not not good message. Yeah. That's a very... What word am I looking for? Disheartening? Yeah, disheartening. Disheartening message to send to the viewers. Yeah. Anyway, that's all we got for this podcast. All right. Wait for Going Obscure. Coming back December 2nd. We forgot to, if check, that, it if that's we forgot to check it again. If that's the date. Uh, um, just to say, um, writing for Going Obscure Season 5 is underway. Uh, three episodes are finished writing, and we'll be doing one eventually soon. Um, and I am going to start the next one probably tomorrow. It's December 1st. December 1st. December 1st is when we'll be coming back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This is Stampy Longlegs with the Minecraft dedicated Wham outro. So goodbye. See you later. And like three guys walk in, or two, two or three guys walk in, and they sit down in the front row of the theater, and they sit there watching the movie, and then 10 minutes later, they get up and then leave. And it's like,